Hi, Garrett. Hey, how y'all doing? Okay, we will start with questions from Chip Towers. Yeah, Garrett, uh, it, it's that time. It seems like uh, uh, baseball is forever a, in a state of preparation and you're finally getting to play on Friday. Just uh, can you verbalize it, what, what that feeling's like when you when you know you're getting ready to go and kind of what's the uh, level of anticipation in y'all's locker room? Yeah, there's a lot of anticipation. I mean, from last year, you know, ending the way that it did, um, kind of gave us a sour taste in our mouth because, you know, we're a very talented team and, you know, not really getting to play summer ball. I mean, I know there were some leagues I got to play, but I didn't really get to play, but, and a lot of guys didn't get to play, but, um, you know, you said there's a lot of anticipation. We're really excited to get going. Um, but yeah, you know, we're just taking it one day at a time right now. not really trying to look forward to the weekend yet. You know, we got to practice today and then tomorrow. Um, but you know, we're, we're really looking forward to it though. Okay, we'll take questions from Zach Klein and then Anthony Dasher. Can you tell us about Fernando uh, behind the play. Coach says, you know, you think catchers are kind of wild, crazy, out of control, but he's pretty chill. Yeah, he is. He's uh, he's always takes control of the game. Um, and, you know, with him being a freshman, that's, uh, that's a pretty cool thing to do because, um, you know, obviously catchers controlling the game and um, working with the pitcher and everything. But a uh, very mature player for his age, um, always in control. Really good player. Hey, Garrett, I want to talk to you just a real quickly about some of the work that Coach Strickland and Coach Daly have kind of kind of done with you. When I was talking to, to Scott, he was uh, saying one of the things he wants you to do maybe more of this year is maybe swing more early in counts, uh, not fall, you know, not work so many deep counts maybe as, as last year. Is, is that something that's kind of going on? How is that, you think, helping you right now? Absolutely. Um, you know, that was one thing that I kind of identified in my game last year was I was taking too many pitches, and we had conversations about – um, you know, swinging earlier in counts and, you know, hunting pitches that I could do damage with, even if it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Uh, so just really hitting strikes. Um, and that's really what I've been working on and what I worked on a lot over break and what I've been trying to implement in our game and preseason scrimmages and stuff. And I feel like it's been working really well. Uh, I've been hitting early, been hitting the ball pretty hard. And, um, you know, just that's really all you can do and all you can control. Uh, hits are come and, you know, slumps will come too. So, um, but as far as hitting early in the count, that's what I've been doing and feel like it's been working pretty well. And a lot more responsibility on your shoulders this year, too. I understand you're going to be hitting in that three hole this year. So uh, kind of have to really kind of make that work, huh? Absolutely. You know, I have all, all the confidence in the world in my game and what I can do. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've always wanted to be that older leader on a team and feel like I've been able to step into that role this year a little bit more than I was last year. That's kind of difficult to do coming in as a transfer, but mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it and uh, seeing what we can do as a team. Oh, thanks, man. Okay, we'll take questions from Drew Hubbard and then Paul Martins. Hey, Gary. Yeah, and um, you mentioned Fernando, a freshman, but like in the freshman class as a general sense, how have you guys as upperclassmen kind of helped the freshmen adjust and get ready for their first taste of college baseball this weekend? Um, I would say uh, really just mental approach. I've had conversations with a few of the guys, um, you know, Parks and Corey a little bit, um, just basically a like, mental approach to the game. Um, and that's the thing that I feel like you can really grow the most, you know, all the talents there for, for them to be here. Obviously they have the talent to play in the SEC and, um, have really long careers, but uh, I think that's the mental approach that kind of sets people apart. And that's what I've tried to help them with uh, the most, um, because like I said, they're, the way they can play the game is um, going to take care of itself. It's just kind of like mastering your, your mindset uh, going into each and every at bat. Yeah, Garrett, obviously last season wasn't your first year playing college baseball and first in the SEC. Uh, but it was your first at Georgia. What do you think you learned last year that you'll carry into this year? Um, yeah, I try and take something from each season. Um, and last year, it was like I was taking too many pitches, like I already talked about a little bit. Um, so I, I think that um, just from last year to this year, I'm just going to be trying to be more aggressive. Um, uh, yeah, that's basically it. We have time for one more question for Garrett. Yeah, Gary, just with, with how loaded the SEC is this year, how important is it for you guys to get into a rhythm early in non-conference play? Uh, I think it's huge, um, especially with us trying to figure out, uh, you know, like 
what our lineup's going to look like. Uh, you know, that's kind of your time uh, in non-conference is to figure out, you know, who's going to play where, um, you know, what, what your lineup's going to look like, what your rotation's going to look like, who's the first out of the pin. Um, so I think it's going to be huge for us, uh, especially with a guy, few guys down this weekend. Um, you got some opportunities for some younger guys to step up. But, um, you know, it's a chance for them to solidify, you know, their role on the team and what they can do and kind of prove themselves a little bit. So I think it's huge to get in a role, uh, get in a rhythm, you know, get to play with each other and figure out, you know, how we play with each other and uh, what we can do to win some games. All right. Thank you so much.